everyone. My name is Minko, and today I'm going to be talking about automated Angular 2 style checking with Colizer. So, a couple of words about me. Currently, I'm working on a startup called Brownie Points. We're building an educational application for kids that is entirely developed with Angular 2. And uh, I'm also quite active in the open source community. A few of the projects that I'm working on are Angular 2 Seed, of course, Colizer, and contributing to a few of the projects of the Angular mobile team. And recently, I finished this book. Uh, I got the privilege to get a technical review by Mishko Heavery. So you can take a look. Today, we're going to talk about best practices and how we can apply them to our project in an automated fashion. But before that, a little bit of a story time. So a couple of months ago, I started incorporating all the best practices that I found about Angular 2 in my development experience and also all the advices that Mishko gave me during his technical review of my book. In the end, I came up with this document that I called the Angular 2 Style Guide, and I got a lot of feedback from community. We started a lot of discussions into the issue tracker of GitHub, and we improved the style guide a lot. So that's how I called it the, the Angular 2 Community Driven Style Guide. A little bit after that, Igor from the core team asked me whether I want to work together with him and John Papa on the official Angular 2 style guide. I was super excited about this, so of course I accepted. And uh, we were going to incorporate all the best practices from the Angular 2 community driven style guide, all the best practices discovered during the internal usage of Angular 2 inside of Google, and all the amazing job that John Papa did in his Angular 1 and Angular 2 style guides. So we came up with this document that Brad announced during the keynote session, the first day of, of the conference. And what the Angular style guide actually is? Well, it is a list of guidelines on building Angular applications. Now, I have highlighted the word guidelines here because that's what the style guide is. It is giving us guidelines, not rules. So this means that we can eventually modify some of these guidelines or add our own specific guidelines. Now, let's the, trace the process of how we can integrate the Angular style guide inside of our project. So first of all, the senior engineers inside of the team are going to sit together and they're going to discuss each individual practice from the official style guides and eventually somehow modify it if it is strictly required. They will add some specific practices to the project and after that they, may, they need to make each individual team member of the team familiar with each individual team uh, style guide, uh, practice from the style guide. And this is because after that, on each code change and uh, also legacy code, of course, we need to verify that the altered code or the refactored code answers these styles. And uh, the process of doing this is usually code review. How many of you did code review during the past week? All right, a lot of you. And how many of you really enjoyed doing this code review? I mean, we're very happy to do that. Like two hands? I'm not counting you. <laughs> right, so code reviews, they're not very fun because they're manual, they're boring, and they're kind of error prone. First of all, they're manual because we're doing them by hand, and they're boring because, well, we're not reviewing super exciting functionality every day. And they're error prone because, uh, well, we're humans. We, it happens to make mistakes. So that's what I thought with Codelizer. We have this huge style guide with a lot of practices there, and we need to apply it over a big project with a lot of team members in the team. I thought that, well, this process could be automated probably with static code analysis. So I built uh, the initial proof of concept version, just a couple of rules on top of TSLint. Later, the project joined a friend of mine called Preslav, and we started building another tools on top of TSLint and also doing some more advanced experiments. So the goal of Colizer is to provide a tool that enforces common style and verifies correctness of our programs. That's the basic idea. This sounds quite abstract, and uh, part of that is because we are still in pretty early stage of development, but let's take a look at a specific example. So this here is the Angular 2 seed, and uh, one of the best practices inside of the style guide states that we need to use our component with selector of type element. However, the home component here, it is used as attribute. So we are violating the best practice. When we run goplint and wait a little bit, we're going to get an error. And uh, since the error message is quite short, when we click on it, we're going to get redirected to the exact section from the Angular 2 style guide where this, uh, yeah, thank you.
And this is already good. We can integrate it as part of our development process. We can even add uh, support to our continuous integration, like Travis or Jenkins or whatever. But it will be even better if we're able to get some instant feedback. This, for, this for, for instance, here is Atom with the TSLint plugin installed. <clears throat> so we're getting warnings each time we violate any of the rules inside of tslint.json. Also, if we violate any of the best practices inside of the style guide. So in this case, if we try to rename an input, we're going to get a warning. Same happens if we try to implement a lifecycle hook without implementing the corresponding lifecycle hook interface. This applies for Basically, any ed editor that has TSLint plugins, this means that you can do this uh, in Atom, in Visual Studio Code, uh, you can do this in Vim or WebStorm, whatever you choose. Currently, the tool is based on TSLint. We'll take a look at the future plans just in a little bit. What surprised me was the adoption of the tool. So, initially, I introduced it to the Angular 2 Seed project, and uh, a little bit after that, Patrick from Angular class, he added support inside of the Angular 2 Webpack starter. So, at this point, already the two most popular starters had support of Coldizer. What happened later was that Igor from the core team, he suggested that Coldizer, at this time ng2lint, could be a good fit for the Angular CLI. So I was super excited about this because my tool, my little tool, was going to get part of the official Angular CLI, so I added this integration quite just a few days after his suggestion. So we can already use Coldizer inside of the Angular CLI. So you might have noticed that a couple of times I referred to the tool as ng2lint, and also in the slides. We actually deprecated this name because of a couple of reasons. Now it is called Lizer, because uh, first of all, well, linting sounds boring. It sounds like something optional that, uh, that you should not do, maybe. But uh, it is kind of important thing, especially when you're following the style guide, which is going to bring you following the best practices. And we're also planning to do not only linting. Our plans include more advanced static code analysis, and we are also having uh, some prototypes with this. We're planning to introduce analysis of templates. Using the Angular's template parser, we are going to get the output AST, and we're going to analyze it. We're also planning to add out correct suggestions. So for instance, if we verify that you're not following any of the best practices, we're going to give you a couple of options. And when you choose any of these options, your code is going to get being refa automatically refactored for you. Another plan we have is to add analysis of lazy loading boundaries. So when you have lazy route, uh, async route definitions, and you have such lazy lo loading boundaries. Uh, and you have a transitive dependency inside of any of these lazy loading boundaries, which violates the lazy loading of your application, we're going to raise a warning. We're planning to do much more, but what uh, we would appreciate even more is to get your feedback. So this here is a link to a Google form that uh, we would love you to fill and tell us what you would like to see inside of Coldlizer. So, yeah, this is the book that I wrote. If you're interested, you can take advantage of this discount code that is going to give you 25% off. And, uh, yeah, thank you very much for your attention.